Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I am your host, Shaheen. I bring you very important and exciting analysis of stock market. We are going to discuss uh, three indices that includes Dow Jones Industrials. So we'll also discuss S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100. After that, we'll try to look at cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, and see how they are uh, going along. After we've done that, we'll uh, look at crude oil. What important? We are expecting an important swing in the uh, crude oil, and we'll discuss that. And in the end, we'll discuss gold and silver. The most important thing is there could be an important in, uh, an important uh, occurring going to be happen. Then we'll discuss a possibility of that happening in all the three indices. The stock in front of you, uh, the chart in front of you here is Dow Jones. Uh, in our previous analysis, we know that we are expecting a larger pattern that actually started from over here back in January 2022. We're expecting this pattern to be wave A, wave B, and wave C pattern. And in my previous analysis, we also argued that the support line uh, for the previous structure is very important. That indicated the top and a uh, I, we were able to uh, successfully indicate the top uh, of the previous swing. I think this is going to be the top of the previous swing, not only that swing, but also the larger swing that actually started from over here. And my analysis is indicating that we are expecting uh, a bearish outlook on the Dow Jones. Now, this bearish outlook can happen over an um, extended period of time. I mean, that we've started over here it can take a little more time than what i have shown over here but there is also a possibility that we can actually see absolutely disaster break in the stock market so this is what the um the today's video is about the main thing is uh, i want to indicate that there is a possibility that we are looking for a disastrous in a few months to come in that case there is a possibility of the stock market dropping from $39,000 back to 29,000 uh, not dollars points 29,000 points so you know one out of uh, 40 is uh, almost how much it is 10 out of 40 is 25 uh, percent right so a 25 percent drop in these from the peak is expected approximately 25 percent uh, and this is going to be very important now there's another possibility that we are going to see uh, a slow uh, unraveling of the market in that case we'll uh, we'll see the markets coming down either as well so keep an eye open when the largest structure that in front of you is we're expecting a sharper uh, crack on the downside and maybe we should extend this to probably somewhere around 50 percent of the the whole uh, the whole um, range and then after that we'll expecting a stronger pullback in wave two and a lot of people will get excited and then the slower wave three is expected and wave three is expected to be uh, extended uh, wave three and then after that a shallow wave four and wave five now the important point here is that wave five and at the, point, at the end of wave five we will see some very important um, buying patterns this will be the place to buy into some of the stocks especially i'm interested about tesla and i'll discuss the, the point so keep in mind that we have only started the decline a few days ago a few a few weeks ago and the decline could be a sharp decline on the downside i think that we have just a bit on a smaller time frame on an hourly time frame I think we, sh we shall see a bit more push up on the upside, completing this smaller correction that we have. And that also makes 50% of the previous range, I thought that, I think so. After that, we there is a possibility that we can actually see a larger break. Now, what I see, uh, keep on saying is possibility is because it could unravel into a slower pace. Well, but I think that the the chances of a stronger crash are much higher uh, than a stronger than a slower uh, fall down. So keep that in mind. This is Dow Jones. Now we're going to look in to our more next important, which is S&P 500. So S&P 500 is once again a same pattern that we are looking at. Uh, we're looking for an ABC pattern on that actually started back in 2022, uh, somewhere in the January of 2022. And then we are expecting a sharper break. And once again, look at the the support line the prices are were really struggling and there's a lot of zigzags in it however when the break happened and we were actually looking at it i told uh, i made a forecast clearly indicating that the support line is absolutely important and we could see uh, a sharper break and that's exactly what we have seen now in addition to this i think there is a possibility once again as i mentioned with dojo and s p 500 
can break sharper on the on the bearish side so keep that in mind while you're making your decisions about trading um, now the next one that we are going to look at is uh, nasdaq 100 and the, the reason uh, the important point is i've tried to kind of bring the second variation that there's a possibility although it's going to be expecting the to drop sharper as well but just in case of a variation happens the same we can use a sec this variation for all the three charts that a slower unraveling of the bearish market can happen so either way i'm i'm bearish on the market and all three indices and i think that new next few months are going to be very important i'm in more uh, looking uh, of a probability of a sharper decline keep that in mind uh, while we were discussing the stock market i said nasdaq now the reason nasdaq is is playing very important role because nasdaq is already oversold all right I do believe in the strength of Nasdaq stock and I believe that once that hits the bottom at the same time Nasdaq hits the bottom and the both bottoms will actually um, you know coincide once the bottoms coincide I think that will be the time to buy into Tesla all right and then we'll be looking for the prices to jump up all the way over to 410 ish so very exciting time ahead we are looking more weakness into and Tesla and if that weakness comes in and um, that will be the time in to buy into Tesla and once again our target would be for up there or for four hundred dollars something and that could happen uh, in a in a shorter amount of time right I'm not talking a lot of years 10 years 15 years I think that could be could could actually see that within two two years of the bottom um, being formed so that's very important and let's have a look at uh, I wanted to look at Bitcoin while we are looking at, uh, but okay, we'll come back on this. So this is the Bitcoin that's in front of us. Um, the problem, the question here is that if uh, we are looking for a sharper move on the downside in in uh, Nasdaq, that definitely, certainly, I told you guys that I'm bearish on on cryptocurrency as a whole. Um, so the only time is is the amount um, you know the time it's gonna take uh, in into the crash all right are we looking into something like this okay so keep that in mind there's a possibility that we can absolutely see stunning uh, behavior in crypto as well so let's have a look on uh, two hourly time chart and I want to see if we have any correction okay so there is a, a bit of correction left here we go so I wanted to look at the smaller time frame here we go and I think so that that's what we're looking at it okay I think that this is in the books okay and then we are looking for a drop that will be completing the pattern first we were looking that we are going to go inside uh, this quite a bit but now I think once we go see upper movement that will complete the structure that actually started from over here and uh, since we are look, expecting a break uh, in the um, stock market we shall see break coming in uh, Bitcoin as well so that's my analysis that once prices go up we shall be looking on the bearish side and I think there is a high possibility that we'll see the and break of the triple bottom on this one bottom this bottom and this bottom so be really careful around the breaks do not go simply long if you do not if you want to go long wait for the prices to jump up a bit and then go long there's a high possibility that when prices go up and come down we'll see a solid break as well similarly if you are looking to go long in bitcoin okay this is a good point to go long but once again around the top this will be a triple top so you might want to wait uh, for the break of the the pattern and you want two or three days above the pattern that will be indication that we are going up higher and that will indicate also that my analysis on cryptocurrency is wrong so be really careful next few um, pricings are going to be very important let's come back to uh, enough of crypto and I wanted to discuss uh, a very important and beautiful thing that we're expecting and uh, that was in the crude oil and I think I've put that into our stocks list here. I need to make a separate watch list for that. Here's crude oil. And the reason I'm saying it's crude oil is that crude oil is showing very excitement, um, very excitement and easy uh, trading setup. And the, by means of easy trading setup, we can see clearly that we have... So with the, with the drop in the 
with a drop in the stock market, definitely crude oil is expected to follow as well. All right. So the pattern is also indicating the beautiful pattern that we have here is A, a B, and a C. That completes a larger uh, correctional pattern right over here. Okay. And what I mean correctional is that we'll discuss more why I'm calling it correctional. I'm expecting crude oil to go to be bearish in next uh, years, a couple of years at least. Um, and then I think there is a lot of side wave behavior expected in crude oil and uh, not immediate bearish reaction on a longer time frame cycle. But this, I think uh, this wave, this wave range that's starting from bottom of 64 all the way to what is that 90 something? Uh, 95 so this is almost $30 range is going to be very important and then we are going to be staying in this range for a while and That's what my initial analysis is saying, but before we can actually talk about all the future we need to look at them very important uh, Immediate risk uh, trend and that's we're expecting about 19% as you guys can see our target right now is uh, uh, I would say 65 I think it was Okay I think it's going to be 65, but for our protection, we can call it 66. Okay, if it changes, I'll let you guys know. Uh, on on a smaller time frame, the we can see that there is a classic behavior that we are looking at it. If you guys missed the previous uh, labeling, that this is smaller wave A and B, and then we have a clear five wave structure. Uh, and I think I mislabeled on a previous chart as well. I was looking to do this, but I think somehow I did not see this have this bottom and we only this part of the chart was visible so we, we did the mislabeling the point here is that uh, if you look at the support line and the price breaking through the support line and retesting that area is a very important point okay it's a very very important point and we also need to see that if you look at this top this kind of gets you into the territory of double tops right over here it's not very close ideally it should be just a bit high but it still gets you into the territory of a double top that means that we are computing the larger structure right over here, uh, at least a, a second wave of the structure and the third wave of the structure is ahead. So the structure remains really bearish and if you look at the hourly time frame, you get an idea why I'm saying that more and more data is coming and we are getting a more uh, idea that the, the, if you look at the push, is there's a lot of zigzag and it's not a good idea uh, that you are indicating on the upper side. Okay, these zigzags are deeply mm, deep corrections and zigzags are an indication that prices are really struggling to go up so this is a classic uh, pattern which is wave a wave b and wave c i think we're going to see a bit more push um, on monday before we can come down but anyway if price drops below this which is 82 dollars that'll be indication that we have seen the top right over here once prices go up over here we can also use um you know in addition to 82 dollars we can also do this uh, as a support line so let's say price drops below this support line there will be also indication that we have seen a second top as well so but i think there's a little more left we can call it three three five structure we have a larger impulse wave on the bearish side so sub wave one and two and we are looking for a five wave structure on the bearish side so it's going to be an amazing trading setup i think it's going to be a very sharp move on the downside it's going to take probably a uh, couple of months I'd, let's say Okay, a couple, couple of months and we are expected to drop to $65 and that will be a good buying point at the, once again. So crude oil is an exciting an exciting trading setup. Uh, bearish move followed by correction. And the support is retesting. Double top is going to be made all indicating towards a bearish outlook in crude oil. Let's have a look at which is the next one. So we have discussed stock market and crypto and crude oil. So the next one is... Um, gold and silver so gold is uh, although a bit tiring we have a couple of trades running actually as well okay these are sample trades that are not exactly the trades but these are sample trades and you guys can see um, I made analysis and I told you guys to go long uh, at least I was going long and told you guys the trading setup as well let's come back on uh, daily time frame so we can actually look at the uh, larger time frame analysis so forget about these lines for now okay let me show let me there we go okay so what we are looking for in the larger time frame here is that we are looking for a five wave structure that actually started from right over here 
okay even though we have bottom starting over here and over here right now we are looking for a clear trading setup which is wave one and two wave three and four and i told you guys that we have completed a 50 percent retracement of the previous impulse wave and this is very important uh we have gone a bit deeper than wave two um, but it's also getting to a point that we need to look that we are getting close to a larger strong upside and once that is closed uh, we need to correct the whole structure so that right now you're looking at wave one and two wave three and four and wave five so our potential target upward is twenty six hundred dollars um i was ex expecting prices to be moved sharper but since they haven't and i gave about two weeks time uh, i said that i think that that two weeks time holds starting from monday so we are expecting about another two weeks to go uh, till the price of gold hits $2,600. At that time, our uh, trading setup will close as well. We are still positive in our trading setup. And in my previous analysis, I told you guys what I have done is simply divide the whole impulse range, which is wave three, into nine sections. And I can see that. Well, let me show you something. Support coming in. So when prices were right around here, um, I just saw that when I drew the nine range in the unequal division on the previous impulse then we can see that there is a support resistance for the correction on this side and resistance as well all right so this was indication for me to go long and I told you guys that I was not going to keep a lot put a lot of uh, uh, money on the risk and that's, therefore stop loss needs to be very tight and here it is this is the trading setup in front of you. We are already into the green and we are expecting for the price of gold to hit $2,600. And we'll keep this, uh, you know, trade running up. Once again, it's a paper trade, it's not an actual trade. Uh, similar goes to, similar thing goes to silver. We are expecting for silver to, let me show you guys the, uh, here. So the pattern that we're looking for in silver is also uh, very obvious. A lot of people are uh, concerned about this pullback as well which I'm not I'm looking at this wave whole wave as wave one and two or you can say the top wave came over here okay but this makes a lot easier if you want like really looking into concern either this top or that top I think that's wave one and two we have and then we have wave three and wave four and then we are going long so at right at the bottom point i told you that guys i'm going long this is a very good trading setup i think this was also a very important uh four by eight i think let's have a look so this is uh eight and nine so this is right now at five by nine support that we have here okay so very important support we went long right over here and we're expecting prices not to drop uh, below 26.17 okay and we're still in the green now we're expecting a sharper move which hasn't happened yet but i think next couple of weeks are going to be interesting our upward target remains around 33 dollars uh, for silver next couple of weeks is going to be very interesting to see so this wave this is one is still going on we'll put it right over here starting from this bottom we have wave one and two and three and four and we're expecting for another bullish wave, uh, wave on the upside I hope that I was able to provide some assistance and some light onto the uh, in in the charts. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.